Right then folks, here we go. This looks a lovely thing. Just arrived earlier on, I say earlier on, 10 minutes ago. Um, nice guy, just dropped it off. Um, a hell of a sounding thing, honestly. Kawasaki ZX9R um, in line four, as you can see, sat in there. Stickers give it away a little bit. Look, um, oh, sounds incredibly fit. Honestly, really, really does. Um, yeah, revs like no tomorrow. Um, so just pulled it in the shed myself. Bonus, we've got a reverse as well. There you go, down there, flick that lever forward. You've then got reverse, which is an even bigger bonus. Uh, but yeah, ever so sweet sounded engine. Oh, yeah, can't, uh, yeah, can't get, get that over enough. It sounded ever so sweet. Um, the car itself, overall, um, yeah, they're a hell of a looking thing, aren't they? I, I've always sort of poo-pooed the kit cars and they've never really interested me that much. Um, but uh, yeah, after he hearing this one and uh, just driving it into the shed there, um, I bet they're a lot of fun, aren't they? I bet they really are. It'd be brilliant on a track day or just a bit of, uh, you know, a, f a fun day on a Sunday out in it. Certainly very different. And I suppose the old boys who, where the bikes are getting a bit too heavy, this is sort of the next best thing. It's open soft, you've still got the power there. Yeah. I mean, what will it weigh? It must be under a ton, certainly. It'd be eight, 900, probably 900 kilos, something like that. So, um, yeah, power to weight, unbelievable. Um, anyhow, I'll stop waffling. Um, obviously, engine, sweet as a nut. Fiberglass going around it, all very straight. Uh, Paintwork-wise, overall is good. Very clean, very tidy. Couple of little marks, it wants a, uh, a good polish and a clean up. I think there's a little, few little bits in places. There you go. But overall, certainly uh, extremely acceptable. A couple of bits of gravel rash there, just on the, just above the cover. Um, lovely set of bucket seats in there with your harnesses. Lovely dash cut out in a carbon fibre effect. All of that lights up just as you'd expect. Your isolators on the side there. Flick that on, there you go, got your fuel pump switch. All of that works as it should. It's a, uh, are we in neutral? Yeah, we are. Oh, hang on a minute, one more. Might want a bit of throttle. Oh, there you go, straight up, look. There you go. Press of a button, find it straight up. I don't know what will. There you go. Got a box of spares and bits and pieces here with it, guys. Filters, etc. Screens. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, bit of all sorts. Look, in there, a few goodies. What's it on? It's there. Oh, we got a lovely tonneau cover for it as well in there. Uh, really, really smart. Yeah, well worth coming down to have a look at. Paperwork-wise, give the girls a ring. Uh, and just inquire about the number plate. The, I didn't realise there was the guy brought it on a trailer and uh, taped up the rear number plate. And I thought obviously he did that because it was on the trailer. But then I noticed the front one was done as well. So just check whether that plate's with the car or not. I'm not too sure. Do a bit of research on that. Um, but yeah, there you go. Give the girls a ring with regards to some paperwork. <laughs>